Yo guys, uh, just gonna do a quick review here on this 3 uh, meter that I have. A basic Fluke 113 multimeter, an LCR DE5000, um, an 888 Apple cap analyzer. Okay, so this one is intended for testing electrolytic capacitor directly from the board in and out. And this one, I'm not sure if it can do the job. And this one do the, does the same, can test the uh, capacitor, inductor, resistor directly from the board. It can, frequency test can range up to 100 kilohertz. The same with this one. So I'm gonna use this small board, which is very popular, especially in the re-engineering group. The, it has been featured uh, as a, sample for uh, or a topic and repairing how to repair this board uh, this one is very popular to go bad and this one doesn't really show but we're just gonna test it also make sure everything is okay so we'll do a test using the three meters this one this one and this one and we'll see the difference and what what it shows on the display and what's the reading on every uh, equipment we have. All right, we're back. I'm just gonna start testing this board using this first equipment, the Flop 113. Uh, let's go to the capacitor test or capacitor mode. By the way, use uh, a needle type probe when testing uh, boards, small components like this. It's very nice to have this. All right. So, here we go. Let's see what's the reading on this. Sixteen microfarad, fifteen point six, not stable. All right, let's switch reverse. See if there's any difference. Oh, it went up to five thousand seven hundred. Oh my God! All right, I don't think uh, we can get uh, good information on this. All right, that's the bad capacitor, the small one, the 10 microfarad, 50 volts. All right, so let's test the good capacitor using the flip meter. Oh, it's showing 3,000, 4,000. I don't think we're getting a, a good reading so this one I don't recommend testing capacitor directly from the board I know we can use this meter for testing capacitor that is out of the board uh, example 47 47 microfarad 400 volts to a test. Yeah, so 44, 44.5, very close to the value, which means uh, this meter can be useful uh, if you're testing capacitor that is not attached to the board. All right? All right, here we go again. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna test again this capacitor using but this time using this uh, test equipment uh, the DE5000 it's an LCR meter uh, it can test inductance capacitance resistance 
I'm not gonna go over to all the feature of this. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you the, 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 the most thing I like is the auto function. All right, the auto function, it can test or it can determine what component you are testing uh, as soon as you touch that co that component in the board. Just for example, like this. Okay, I'm gonna touch my probe into that capacitor and this meter can tell that I'm testing a capacitor okay all right so what we got here now is a uh, 6 microfarad and the dissipation is 1.6 or 1.7 round off this tells me uh, with the dissipation that high for this capacitor is really high and it's showing it tells me that this is a bad capacitor with this number here and this number here this number here shows that it's 6 microfarad which is only 60% of its value uh, actual value which is supposed to have 10 microfarad but this is only showing like 6 microfarad and it's draining too much power based on the dissipation value so basically this tells me that the resistance of this uh, capacitor is way too high because of the dissipation factor value. All right, so let's move to this to the other cap other capacitor and let's test them and see what what values we're getting at. Okay. All right, so we're getting a 683 microfarad, and this dissipa uh, dissipation is 0 0.18 round off. That indicates that this is a good capacitor. It's not draining too much power. Uh, the value is 683, even though this is, the actual value is 270 microfarad, 30, 35 volts. It's showing uh, almost 700 I think because uh, the, this capacitor is in in parallel uh, altogether so that's why we're getting uh, that much high value of capacitance if you have a parallel capacitor uh, the, their value adds up so that explains why we're getting that value but uh, let's see so this tells me that these three capacitors are good and this one here that tells me it's bad because of this dissipation factor uh, value that it tells me on it shows me on that screen there that's the that's the good thing with this meter I like this okay and it's not very expensive compared to to this one here which is very expensive not much it can do uh, very basic simple just it can only test capacitor and resistor that's all so yeah that's the DE5000 you guys our last uh, equipment that we're gonna use for testing the capacitor is the DE cap uh, ESR cap analyzer 88A uh, so Let's see what it can do uh, using this thing and testing this capacitor here. All right, let's rock and roll. That's a nice sound. Okay, so it's not registering anything. Uh, it's working. So it's not registering anything. Problem with this is I get confused if if I'm actually getting a reading or not uh, uh, because uh, I'm not sure if it, if it has a good connection. Uh, it, it gives me a mindset that that's why I'm not getting a, a response here because maybe I'm not touching the capacitor properly. So that's why every time I, uh, I test it, I kind of like 
like forcing it, making sure it got a good contact. All right. So, yeah, this one is not registering. Basically, I think it tells me that there's the the ESR is way over 20 ohms. That's why it's not uh, uh, reading anything here or showing any information up here. Next is we're gonna test this three capacitor and see what it tells us using this meter. This thing is good. It's good. Let's see. All right. So yeah. Uh, all three caps it's good this one is bad this one can only test capacitor this one can test capacitor resistor inductor and so yeah that's the difference between this uh, three meters that we have and the fluke and the DE5000 and the cap analyzer. I prefer bringing all these three in the field just for, you no. Know, because they have, uh, they have different uh, advantages and features. So I like bringing all this uh, in the field when doing a service. Okay, ciao. Thanks for watching.